Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos todos. Bless this beautiful Sunday and wishing everyone a blessed He is Risen Day or Easter Sunday, this holy Sunday in remembrance of our Lord Jesus. Um, I'm going to share the rest of uh, Matthew chapter 28. Uh, again, this will be video number seven. Uh, glory to Abba Father in the name of his son Jesus. I'm sharing the word. This is Matthew chapter 28 starting at verse 1. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His face was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook with fear of him and became like dead men. I don't know, they became like dead men, they might have passed out. That's me. This is something that, that's the only thing I can think of. They might have passed out. I'm sure. But the angel answered and said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you see Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. As he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen. Amen. All glory to Abba, Father, that he fulfilled the word from the prophets of old. He fulfilled it. Finished it. Lord Jesus finished it for his Abba Father and completed the word of his Father because Abba Father is not a liar. Mm. Again, the angel speaking to both Marys. Come, see the place where the Lord lay and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples' word. Verse 9. The women worship the risen Lord. And as they went to tell the disciples, Behold, Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice! So they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. What an honor. What a blessing. One day, one day, we all will rejoice and see our Lord Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Verse 11, The soldiers are bribed. Now while they were going, behold, the guard came into the city and reported to the chief priests, all the things that they had happened. When they had assembled with the elders and consulted together, they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers. Again, these are teachers of the law. We know that what they're teaching, these soldiers, is against everything that they're supposed to be teaching for Abba Father. Again, these are scribes. These are high priests. They know and memorize the laws. Yet, yet, they're breaking them. Teaching these people. Again, 
And I guarantee you that this is happening still now. That's why it's important for all of us to read the word of Abba Father. We need to read it. Need the Holy Spirit to teach us the word. He will teach us. Uh, it's very bright in here because I have both windows open. So that's why it looks kind of foggy. But it's the, the light of the sun coming in. Um, I have one picture window to the east, one here to the north. I'm just sharing because I see that it looks kind of smoky, but it's it's the sunlight coming in. Sh sharing. Again, they're bribing, uh, going against everything that they're supposed to be teaching. So they gave these two guards a large sum of money to the soldier, saying, Tell them, his disciples came at night. And stole him, stole his body, and away while we slept. And it again, now they're making them lie. They didn't just bribe them. They they're asking them to lie again. Forgive me. I am holding my trying to hold the phone steady. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will appease him and make you secure. So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. I'm going to read that again. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will appease him and make you secure. So they took the money. These two guards took the money and did as they were instructed. And this saying, this, this saying of what happened is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. The Great Commission, verse 16, out of Matthew chapter 28. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubt it. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me. All authority has been given to our Lord Jesus by Abba Father. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go. Therefore, and make disciples of all nations. We are all nations. These 11 disciples, through them, here I sit, sharing the word to all nations. Whoever hears or watches these videos, this is what it's for. This is what me and my most, most beloved, loved best friend is why we share. It's in our spirit because Lord Jesus, this is what he, he left for us to share with all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. That's Lord Jesus speaking, loves. Teach all nations to observe all things that I have commanded you. That's everything that the word of Abba Father is stating. We need to, he's stating it right here. Observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. He's with us. So don't fear when we're being persecuted by this lost world. Embrace these few last words out of Matthew chapter 28. Lord Jesus le leaves us to observe all his commands and to teach, to, to share. I, I am a woman, so I know I can't preach or teach. I, I 
but I do share. I, I want all everyone to know what the word of Abba Father states. And he sent his son for this reason, for what he just stated right here, teaching them to observe all things that he has commanded us. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. All glory to Abba Father. This beautiful, blessed Sunday, observing in remembrance of what our Lord Jesus went through for us. Study the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But I advise you, do Matthew, Mark, John, Luke. Because... Matthew, Mark, and Luke, forgive me, are the disciples that walked with Jesus. Luke walked with Paul. And that's how Luke wrote his, his book. Again, all glory to Abba, Father, for his amazing word. I love to read it. I love to study it, and I love to share it. It is my love and my spirit. Again, blessings this beautiful Sunday, loves. Enjoy it with your family in unity and in unity and sing songs. Listen to worship music with, with your children, with your young grandchildren, because this is what is written. Sit every time that you sit with your children you walk with your children you you lay in bed with them you remind them of the word and so they can write it in their hearts that's the written word this is what my abuelito and my abuelita did for us my grandma gomez my mom and my dad and so i in turn do it to my my babies and my grandbabies now <laughs> But I also, I, I tell all of you, share it. It's important. And trust me, even if for a short while your children are lost, trust me, they will come back and be drawn to the love that they were taught as little children. <laughs> That's a kept promise from Abba Father in the name of his son, Jesus. Beautiful Sunday loves. <laughs>